Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. We have a special edition for you today. This watch that I'll be reviewing was sent in by Saltzman's Watches. I'll put the their web uh, link to their website in the description below. It's saltzmans-watches.com but like I said I'll put the link in the description below. He, they carry a great line of watches. This is, as you can see, a Victoria Knox that we'll be discussing. But he carries Breitling, Oris, Tag Heuer, and uh, several other popular brands. So please go give them a, a check out. Check out their website. And thanks again for Saltzman's Watches for lending this in. So today we have a Victoria Knox here for review. Unbox this. And there you go. This is the Victorinox Air Boss, reference number 241888. This is a pilot watch, a uh, modern take on the old Flieger watches. So a, a modern contemporary look here. So let's take it out of its case. It's a real nice case here. So yeah, uh, still has the hang tag and there is the reference number, and I'll put that in the description as well. So let's check this thing out. It's uh, 42 millimeters across the case, standard, that's a very typical size for a pilot watch. It is 49 millimeters lug to lug, 10 millimeters thick, and it appears to have pretty much a flat crystal. So, you know, no dome or nothing, no box, no dome, just a flat crystal and a 22 millimeter lug width. So let's zoom in here. So it's, uh, this is actually a very nice dial. I am not familiar with this uh, lineup from uh, Victorinox. So this is the first time I'm ever seeing these, one of these uh, air bosses as well. So in uh, tradition with a standard pilot watch, it uh, has bold uh, Arabic numbers across, uh, around the dial, uh, large white sword shaped hands, minute and hour hand with a red second hand that reaches all the way out to the outer edge of uh, the dial, which I always appreciate. So the dial is a black, uh, Two-tone, well, I don't know if it's two-toned or if it's just a texture, but as you can see the center and the out, there is a center to it and an outer uh, where the numbers are. Something similar to how Hamilton does their khaki fields, like a, a pie, pie pan shape, but I think there you can see it. And like I said, I don't know if it's two different shades of black or just uh, a texture to it, but uh, it's enough to add some character to the dial. If you notice something, I, in fact, I only noticed this before I actually started filming. It has a 24 hour marker in the red around uh, the center, but that is actually, I thought it was on the dial as well, but it's actually on the underside of the crystal. And I have never seen this before. I don't know if that's a Victorinox thing that they do or, or what, I've never seen this before. So if uh, you know any info on that, please uh, leave a comment. As you can see, like on the, the minute hand there at the three o'clock position, you can see the red uh, line going underneath or going over the hand rather, uh, instead of the hand going over the red index. So yeah, it's on, it's on the underside. There's a good view of it. It's on the underside of the crystal. And another great detail I like about this. So as you know, a traditional Flieger watch typically has the big triangle at the 12 o'clock position. But on this watch, Victorinox put the their logo, the Swiss Army cross logo at the 12 o'clock. So they put the triangle at the six o'clock. And uh, I think that's a nice touch. That is not by accident. That uh, That's a great attention to detail. And the date is at the six o'clock, which, you know, here lately I've really grown to like because I'm actually not a date 
complication guy. I don't really need the date on there. And sometimes at the three o'clock position, it throws the balance of the dial off. But for some reason, I think it works better at the six o'clock position because typically the 12 o'clock index is always either a larger 12 number or some kind of marker. And I think with the date at the six o'clock, it keeps the balance to the dial rather than at the three. So uh, the crown is a push pull, has the Swiss Army Cross uh, logo on the dial or on the crown. It is automatic, Hex. As you can see, it's a automatic Salida SW200. And the bezel, this is a, a bi-directional bezel. It is not a clicking bezel, it's a friction bezel. It's uh, used uh, with the slide rule tool on this watch. Uh, it is not a timing bezel. It is a pilot watch, so this is a slide rule. Just a friction bezel both ways. And don't ask me to explain how to use a slide rule because I don't know how to do that. That's that's why my pilot watches are traditional Flieger watches. I don't uh, have the tools on it that I don't know how to use. So, yeah, just a very nice uh, clean dial with a Victorinox uh, logo and the name and automatic. Uh, nice big bold letters or numbers rather. So the bracelet is uh, very articulates very nicely. It just lays on the wrist, comes with a uh, butterfly clasp that it took me a while to figure out how to get this one open. It's just a little different than what I'm used to. And let's put it on wrist here. So as you see, uh, with that great articulating bracelet and in-link, uh, it's just going to hug the wrist very nicely. Uh, this is a very nice watch. Uh, I definitely appreciate Saltzman's watches for lending it in. Um, I don't have too much experience with Victorinox. I've owned a few in the past and I've... Uh, I've gifted them out before, but far as having one long-term in my collection, I don't have a lot of experience with them. So, but this is a very nice watch. And, uh, you know, if you want a modern contemporary take on a pilot's watch, this is definitely a great option for you. Um, has a 100 meter water resistance. I don't think I, I hit that up earlier, but, uh, you know, it's a push-pull crown. And it's a pilot's watch, so it doesn't need, you know, you don't need two and 300 meters water resistance with it. But uh, yeah, overall, that's uh, the entire watch is polished uh, or uh, brushed rather. There's, uh, I don't see any polished uh, surfaces on this watch, which makes sense. This is a, uh, a tool watch, uh, something that's gonna be worn a lot in travel and you know, it's a functional piece of jewelry, so it doesn't, uh, you don't really want it to be highly polished because it's just going to get scratched up and smudged up. So um, it's a nice finish to it. Um, I would say similar to Hamil a Hamilton finish, but not quite as nice as Hamilton. But uh, yeah, very nice nonetheless. So yeah, that's the, the review. Um, Thank you for tuning in, and again, thank you for to Saltzman's Watches for lending it in. Uh, please go visit their website, uh, and uh, I'm sure they have something on there that would interest you. Like I said, they have uh, quite a few big name brands of watches and uh, uh, entry level as well. So give them a, give them a look, and uh, I appreciate you tuning in. And that's the review.